what? <sighs> Let me find my live really quick. Let me just find it. Don't need this. There it is. Oh, it's kind of far away. Let's go a little bit closer. It's a little better. I'm going to pin this. didn't work. Uh, let me see if this link even works. One second, everybody. One sec. One sec. I'm just checking on a link. Yeah, there it is. Okay, hi everybody. Let me go a little bit closer for you. Okay. Got the sun in my face. Okay. All right, how's everybody doing? Um, so I've been doing some Halloween heads. Um, I have a two orders of the regular pumpkin heads that I made the other day that I'm going to be doing. Um, and then I'm going to be doing a devil one, a scary devil. Um, but I started working on this wicked pumpkin head today and I thought I'd go live to, uh, do the eye finisher up. So I thought whoever would like to join me can join me. Hey, Summer. Okay, so I put a link um, in the comments that I wanted to share with you. I've been using this. So I have tons and tons of paints, tons of paints. And uh, so I figured, you know what, when I'm going to do a project, I'm just going to go grab what I need and bring it to the table. So instead of having a big mess everywhere, I got myself this awesome 9-inch Lazy Susan. Is that cool? So I'm just sharing with you guys my affiliate link for this. It's only $5.99. Look at that. It is so convenient, you know, and look how much stuff I could fit on there. So I just thought I would share that with you all. It's, um, I will pin it. Oh, it won't let me pin it. Dang. Okay, well, it's in there. It's the first comment. Hey, Terry, is this cool or what? Hi, Candy. Hi, Jamie. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Um, I was looking on Pinterest and because uh, I was doing the other pumpkin heads, which I have two orders I'm going to do. I will tell you this. I The other pumpkin heads I will take orders for. Um, I do have two currently. I'm going to get done here in a day or two. And then I'm going to do my devil one. But this one right here, the Wicked Pumpkin, this was super time consuming and I super love it, but I may not do another one. So this will be for sale um, for anybody that wants it. Um, this one will be $40 plus shipping because it's so much work. So I don't think I have time to do another one of these, at least right now. So if anybody is interested, just let me know. Thank you for blessing the page. I would just love for you guys to share this. Um, and don't forget thumbs up or even some hearts. That would be awesome. So I'm just going to get started because I want to do um, the eye on this side. Is that my sweet love? Yeah. <laughs> my granddaughter's here with me. So let me get my pencil. My pencil. And let's draw. Let me turn this so I can see the comments better. Uh, okay. Hey, Debbie. Oh, did I already say hey? <laughs> Sorry, Portia's here. Hey, Portia. Norma, I did not even notify Norma I was going live because I'm actually in my bedroom in a really small area. Um, I gotta let her know that. Um, 
because my grandkids are out in the front of the house, so I came back here. Hey, Denise. Okay, so, again, this will be available for sale for $40 plus shipping. And I, as of right now, I will not be making any more of the Wicked one because I don't have time. Maybe as we get closer to Halloween, so. Thank you for blessing the page. All right, so let's get started on a, like a really sexy eye, something, uh, you know, really awesome. Because we want this part scary, but this part to look kind of, you know, sexy. So I'm going to start with her eyebrow. If you're ever doing these heads, you know, with an indentation on here, it's so easy to kind of um, have placement for your eyebrows and your eye. You know, you just like here, it's like a it indents upward so you could just draw your eyebrow right there any shape you want hey Maddie hi Connie Denise did I say hi I'm sorry okay let's get this eyebrow and for anybody just popping in I shared a link it's the first comment of my awesome lazy Susan I highly recommend these if you paint and stuff or any of your little crafts, if you don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff on your table, put them on one of these. I love it. And I'm going to get me another one. Super cool. All right. So we're going to do a nice arched eyebrow. Um, arched really, you know, makes it more eye-catching. kind of high up here what's nice again doing the pumpkin heads you only got to worry about doing one eyeball you don't got to worry about it being symmetrical with the other one oh my god Denise I can't wait to see it please make sure you share um, share on the community page on creepy holiday stuff so everybody can see i can't wait to see it and then in group of course show us she's gonna look beautiful okay so i got my eyebrow pretty good just like that hey Jace thanks for popping in I would love it if you guys would share and thumbs up or tag somebody if you know somebody that's into Halloween decorations or wicked looking uh, pumpkin heads like this tag them in the comments and like I mentioned before this one will be available for sale for $40 plus shipping. And I have to tell you, I won't be able to take any requests to do any more of these right now because this one's really time consuming. And I still have some pumpkin head orders of the other pumpkin heads I was doing. I got to get done. And a devil head. So, and I'm going to be working on a witch. So this one I cannot replicate again for a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, it looks pretty cool, huh? Thank you, Debbie. What kind of pencil do you use? Now? This is a 2B sketching pencil, but honestly, I will use any pencil I can find. Um, I am not really picky at all. I use just a regular number two pencil from, you know, school or something. But this one is a, a 2B sketching pencil by Simply Sketching really nice I've had it for a long time okay so I'm gonna make the eye not big I want it to be kind of you know thin and I want to have some wings on it so how the indenting of the eye you can feel the indent up here and the indent here you're making your line on the bottom indent and then you're gonna do the eyelid here maybe a just a hair pass halfway through the eye. 
Okay. You don't want to come all the way up here where the indent is because that's actually getting into where the eyelid should go. Sometimes that's a mistake. Um, if you bring your, your line way up here to that indent, you're going to have these really big eyes. Unless you're making a head that you want to have big eyes for, you want to keep them kind of like this. Okay. All right. So this is really a kind of squinty, but I want that look for this head. I could always open it up if I need to, but I think this is what I want. All right. Again, if I missed your comment, I apologize. I'll go back and look through them because I don't have Norma here to help me right now. Okay, so. Always look at your head to make sure the eyeball is looking at you. You don't want, you know, you don't want to draw your eyeball away over here unless you're going to make it looking in another direction, but you still want the actual round part of the eyeball, the center area, a little towards the inside. Okay. Then I'll do a pupil even though I'll redo that in a bit. I just want to get a idea. Okay. So I usually put um, I usually put glitter and stuff, you know, but I don't know if I'm gonna use glitter on this one because oh, I was hearing noises and it was freaking me out. I we had a ghost. Here. No, I did not. You were you were in here, love. You can bring a chair and come sit over here if you want. Just okay. move the dog beds. I'm sorry, I didn't. I just kept hearing it and I was like, what the heck? Okay. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do glitter, but of course I'm going to do orange. I'm going to do orange and um, I'm using uh, cadmium orange, which I like because it's a deep orange. The back is, uh, I believe, bright orange by Deco Art. I don't know if I have enough to cover the back of this of the cadmium, um, but I'm not super concerned because I assume if someone purchases this, um, they're going to put it in a wreath or they're going to decorate it with florals. So this is not a worry to me. Um, but I do have enough to do some eyeshadow. And I'm going to just go directly on my table because I can clean it. Yeah, Denise, I was thinking... Um, glitter is just... I don't know. It's, I want to keep this wicked. I don't want to make it too foo foo -y, you know. I know you can't. Can you even see? I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, there's a leg. That's why I can't see. So I'm going to get my white and cadmium orange. And my... I love this. What number is this? It's a half inch. It's angled. This one's a little tweaked because I've used it forever, but see how it's angled? Um, this angle, and you want to make sure there's some give to it. Um, this is a wonderful brush. It's Menta Royal and Lang, what is it? Lang Nickel. Um, half inch. And it just, it goes so well because you put this corner part here and you're able to do you know your your eyeshadow nice with it unless you're using regular makeup if you use regular makeup you could totally make this look really awesome um, I prefer to paint so I don't use regular makeup and plus I use uh, Duraclear gloss varnish for really high gloss shine and this does not work with makeup you will totally ruin your head if you put it over makeup <clears throat> Jessica, hey, how's it going? Thank you, this is awesome, huh? Hey, Laura. I just saw that Laura here was here. I love Laura's wreaths. I'm addicted to her wreaths. They're beautiful. <laughs> Call Daddy and tell him I'm on the live right now, babe. Okay, so I'm going to take my angled brush, okay? And I'm going to dip it in my cad cadmium orange on one corner and then I'm going to dip the other corner in the white and then I'm going to load it 
And when I say load it, ah, dang it, you want to get your paint on your brush and all the bristles. So you just go back and forth, make sure you get it in there really good. Because if you don't load up your brush, Norma, I was just talking about you and I forgot to message you why I didn't message you. <laughs> I'm in my bedroom because the grandkids are here in the living room. So we're like super scrunched in here. So I, that's why I didn't call you to come for this one. I'm sorry, love. I love to have Norma here. Okay, so I think I got it loaded up enough. Okay, I'm starting to screw up my... Okay. Hi, Betty. Yes, Laura. Um, this head is... Usually my heads are 35, but this head's going to be 40 because it was super time-consuming. It will be for sale. Um, and I'm not going to be making any more of these for a while because it's very time consuming and I have oh, some other heads to do. So anybody interested, is everything okay? Matt was calling me. Oh, yeah, tell him about, about the cabins. cabins. He wants you to call him. Okay, well I can't. I'm in a live right now. Yeah. We're doing all other stuff. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I have grandma call me back. That's what okay. I'm So anyway, yes, we'll be for sale for anybody. Okay. I guess first person that wants it gets it. <laughs> Ooh. I just uh, can't make another one right now. Oops. Oops, what? I think black and orange would look cooler. <gasps> oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, a lot Okay, cooler. well, no, I want white no matter what up here. Why? What if you black and I don't know. You should have done black, orange, and white. Okay, my daughter's Ooh. saying that I should do black Because you want orange. white to be your highlight. That's... Right, the white's going to be the highlight, but... No, Are you going to do though. eyeliner? Okay, so you think I should go with black and orange? Yeah, but you need to fade the orange out at the top better than you do the white one. No offense. Well, I just got started, kiddo. I went over my eyebrow and everything. I got distracted I because of the phone call. You'll, just You'll want to fade out the tip probably more by paint. Is this right on here? By painting, like, on here some... Like that. Oh, I already got that. You know what I'm saying? I'm totally confused right now. Do you know what I said, mother? Or, 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 you want to hear me out? Does it include black? Yeah. Okay. Do the black on the bottom. Do it like how you're doing this. Yeah. But at the very, very, very tip, put white. Okay. I will try it. Okay, I'm going to do what my daughter says, and we're going to see how that looks. Because I'll look pretty cool. She's saying black on the bottom, and then orange, and then I will do, after I get no. the black, no, after I get the black and orange on, then I'll do the white. I can't do the three. Yeah, you can. You I don't want to. I don't want to. <sighs> can I just explain how you could have done it? But I've done it before. Can I just explain how you can do it in one go? I've done it before. You take another brush, you put it here, put the orange on here with another brush, and then just dip the corner in the white. I'm, I'm gonna do it that way you can get it in one sweep. Okay, ladies. I get it. So it looks it. more Nothing blended. I've done it before. I just, I don't want to do something like that that is a little iffy for me. Oh, okay. Because I'm on a live. And you're going to go. You know, Grandma has a charger. Sorry, everybody. We don't have iPhone charger. We're just chatting up away here trying to figure stuff out it's the same phone. but i kind of agree Probably. that black and orange would look better <laughs> than orange and white yeah, I got, I got if it doesn't look Samsung good right. that's fine i'll one. change it <clears throat> okay let's try this again so we're gonna start here i'm just gonna follow right along look at that nice blend and I'm not worried about going over the edge because I'll just go in and clean that up. This would look so awesome in a wreath or decorated for Halloween, I tell you. I think it would look super cool. My son's like, you know, your name's Creepy Holiday Stuff. You need to make some really creepy stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get 
rid of this. Oh, shoot. I used the wrong side. Do you believe that? I'm kind of uh, got a little tousled with the phone call and then everybody coming in here. I gotta do this again. Dad was saying that he couldn't, there's like barely any pet friendly cabins. Okay. No pet friendly cabins right now. Get sis, do you want to read comments for me? Sure. Because I can't let this dry. Off the phone or the computer? Any way you want. Whatever works for you. Can I scroll down on this? Yeah, it should already be scrolled. But you can. I have to redo her eyebrow. Did you see Candy and Betty's comments, or do you want me to read those? Um, read starting with Betty, because I already saw Candy. Betty sent you her info on Messenger. Oh, for for the head? Are you buying the head? I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't see any other comments because I was got all screwed up doing this. Laura said, "Sold invoice me." Oh gosh, now I gotta find out who's who who said that first. I need to know who if Betty is was Betty's comment to purchase the head. Um because I didn't get to see who's first. Betty said yes. Okay. And Betty's comment was first. Jessica says one with half which would be really cute. Yes, absolutely. Can you scroll to make sure that there was nobody ahead of Betty saying that they wanted the head? Um, Robert says hi. Hey, Bobby. That's your uncle, kiddo. Oh, I looked at Howard. I'm like, wait a minute. Did you hear me, sis? <laughs> yeah. I'm I okay. need you to go through the comments just to make sure so it's fair. Norma's watching. I know. I told Norma I'm sorry I didn't message her just because I'm in my room on this little tiny table. I'm messing up here. I like the idea, but I'm not getting the look, so give me a minute, people. Need to fix it. No, I don't think anyone mentioned purchasing it and candy says betty spoke first okay laura it looks like betty got the head first but if you would like i could put your name down for later um it would be probably honestly about I mean, I'm easily at three weeks. I mean, Halloween is, is a ways away. If you're willing to wait, I could put your name down for one for later. Absolutely no problem. Is okay. it Renee? Okay. I'm going to let this kind of set for a second because everything got pretty. Renee says it's her first time watching you paint. What a talent. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm so glad you joined. I'm not good with names. Adenia <laughs> says she loves it. Oh, thank you. I got a little screwed up on the eyeball, so I need to give it a second so I could go in and um, Laura, okay, I'll get another one of your head. They are awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I am doing, um, I am taking orders for the other pumpkin head, 
This one is pretty cool. I don't know if you saw it. Um, if you look in my post, <clears throat> it's not as, as time consuming as this one. And those pumpkin heads are going for $35 plus shipping. So anybody interested in the other pumpkin heads I do, feel free to message me um, and I will put you on the list. Put me down. I'll make a hat to go with whatever you make. Halloween is my favorite. I love skeleton or anything candy corn. Put me down. I'll make a hat to go with whatever you make. I love skeleton. Awesome. I will put you down. Okay. Um, okay. I just had to let this uh, dry a bit because it was getting all stupid on me. And I want the white up there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Bear with me for a second, please. Looks a little rough right now, but it's not going to stay that way. I like the Halloween decorations you do. Halloween is my favorite. That's when I start going cuckoo. <laughs> and, uh, so I figured, hey, why not start now? You know? And it gives people time to order from me. And that gives me time to make them. Because I am just one person. Thank God I have my beautiful friend Norma. Who does Mod Podging for me. But as for the drawing and the painting. I got to do it all myself. So I try to be as quick as possible, but sometimes it don't go that well. <laughs> okay. Let me just kind of do a little touch up here. Jamie said Halloween is her favorite too. Uh, it is mine. It is mine. So... I'm going to be doing some creepy stuff. Um, who gave the idea? Was it Jess who said um, half witch and half it was. regular head? That I think that would be pretty too. Okay, this is not my brew. This is not what Jessica want. said Jessica, that. Yeah. I'm going to have to do one of those. See, I was all good actually doing my white. And my orange. Candy says, Denise, did you see Jessica's life changing? Her life changing her 4th of July head. So I to a wreath. Oh, yeah. I watched that. It was beautiful. You know the head grandma house out there? The 4th mm -hmm. of July? Yeah. She had bought one of those. and They're pretty. She put it in a wreath and it looks just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave this, I think, and just get her eyebrow on so I can. Renee said that would be so cool, and Laura says thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let me get her eyebrow on there. I know this is messy, but this washes off really good on my table. <laughs> All right. Can you see those comments okay? You're yeah. welcome, Laura. All right, let me get this eyebrow. See, this is going to be the weird thing. Her eyebrow is going to be black, so she's almost going to have a, a candy corn look. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, Jessica said yes with the other piece I'm going to send to you. I think that was... Yes, what was that? I'm lost. I don't know, yes, before the these other comments, Jessica said to I'm going to have to go through and look at those comments because I missed so many. I missed all kinds. Alright. 
got this head. Good. Can you see the picture good in my phone, sis? Yeah, I can see it good. Very doing well. I just want to make sure it's clear. Yeah. Karen says hello from Michigan. Hi, Karen from Michigan. It's late for all of you, huh? I'm West Coast, so. Jessica's reporting. Most of them are East Coast. This one that has like little spots that are. Yeah, I got a bad batch of heads, um, and I will say they came from Sally's, and they look like crap, and I also got a bad batch from Joanne's, but I got a good batch from Michael's, so. Trisha says, hi, Trisha here, first time here, awesome art. Hi, Trisha, thanks for joining. It's your first time? Candy says, Jessica, the 4th of July one is on your regular page, right? And then Renee says, me to California. I'm California. Hello from Virginia. First time watching. Awesome. And Jessica says, the half witch face and the piece I'm going to send to you will look amazing together. Oh, okay. That's what we were talking about. So the witch, I'm, the witch head I'm doing for you, you want to do the half face? Candy says, I can't wait to see what you do with the birthday head. Um... So those of you first time watching, my name is Heather, and um, I'm called Creepy Holiday Stuff. If you go on my about page, you'll see how I was that name came about. But anyway, um, I love to paint, draw, I love to make wreaths, but I haven't been making a lot of wreaths at all because I've been so busy with the heads. Um, my heads look beautiful. People put them in wreaths. They decorate the heads with florals, which if you go to my album and look at my styrofoam head art, you'll see that I did a lot of heads and did my own floral arrangement arrangements on there, and they turned out really cool. So um, you could do that with them. Some of the heads are just groovy by themselves, and actually just put them on a stand or let them stand up just as they are, and you don't even need to put anything on them or put them in a wreath. just all depends on what you... Uh, want to do with them. Karen says this is so cool. Amanda says wow that's cool just joining. Hi Amanda. And Candy is Trisha. Shared and cared. Oh thank you Laura. I was gonna say there's so many new faces here. It's so awesome. A lot of new people joining. Thank you all for popping in. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for thumbs up. Again, if you know anybody that's interested in these Halloween decorations like this, or just painting in general, tag them in the comments. If you can't watch this in full, um, share it to your page and go back and watch it later. I'm just trying to clean that up because I have some trouble with this eye. I'm not sure if I'm liking it too much. I don't know. My daughter suggested the black and the orange. I was going to go with white and orange. Um, I tell you, I'm not going to know, honestly, until it's all done. But I'm going to put some thick eyelashes on her, so... I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Since those heads are really popular right now. Oh, is it Willamine? Willamine. Never heard Willamine. the name. I have a cousin. I can't. I know, but I wasn't sure how you pronounce it either. I would see <laughs> on Facebook. Denise says, once you finish Willamine. the eye, you'll know. Yeah, once I finish the eye, right now I can't tell. Um, I, I didn't plan on doing black and orange, so it kind of caught me <laughs> off guard when my daughter said, do black and orange instead of black and white. So. Hi from Texas. Who's that? Trina. Trina. Hi, Trina. Thanks for joining. Uh, Trisha said, I hit follow, but it wouldn't go to following. 
What? How come that would happen? You might have to go to my page. Leave the live and go to my page and hit follow, maybe. Quite a bit of people watching. Yeah. Yeah, if, you, uh, if you're new to my page, just <clears throat> kind of scroll through and you can go to the albums and you'll see all the different <clears throat> kinds of heads. Or if you have Instagram, honestly, that's the easiest way to see my stuff. Hey, Miranda. There's your cousin. Miranda's here? Uh-huh. Oh, um, hi. On Instagram, you can see all of my heads without having to go through other stuff because I just put all the heads on there. And also, if you guys have YouTube, I would love for you to subscribe to me on YouTube. Creepy holiday stuff. And you can also find me on Pinterest. I get a lot of inspiration from, from Pinterest. As you can tell, if you look at my boards, it's all this kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I just said Miranda joined. Yeah, Miranda. <laughs> um, honestly, haven't even thought about the color of the eyeball. I figure that out too. But yeah, these look beautiful. Um, if you go to Jess in Case Crafts, um, she purchased one of my Fourth of July heads, and wow, all I can tell you is wow. She uh, she first made a, an arrangement with it, and it was just absolutely gorgeous. And then she turned it into a wreath. You should check out her live on her page, making that wreath, because it is stunning. Oh, I think she's saying how to pronounce her name. Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Okay, I Will thought Amina. that, but I wasn't sure. It's beautiful name. I like that name. Yes. I was just going to ask you what color the eye is going to be, so please. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I think with this head, my only option might be a yellowish... Uh, a yellowish green, maybe similar to the other pumpkin heads I did. Trina says I sh I should decorate my head. I have that display for my mask and headbands I make. Oh wow! And Renee said it was amazing. Yes. So I'm just gonna get her eye done, and uh put her some eyelashes on and then of course I got to do touch-ups here because I'm not super happy with the eyeshadow but I'll have to wait as soon as her uh, as soon as I get her eyelashes on then um, Duena says do you coat your heads first with what absolutely I put um, I use Mod Podge Mod Podge, and then if you have a really stubborn head um, with pitting that you just cannot control no matter what, then you want to get some foam. Dang it, Denise Candy, what is it called? The ladies in my group, we all talk about it. It's a, a foam filler, um, which I actually had to use in a couple of areas on this head. <clears throat> but in my on my website, creepyholidaystuff.com, I do have a tutorial, I'll be right back. and the tutorial is only $4.99, and it's it's my way of getting a really smooth surface on your your styrofoam head. But in all honesty, if you can just buy yourself a head that has very little pitting um, and not too many of the little pimplies, some Mod Podge, and you'll have yourself a nice surface to paint on. And if you do have a lot of the little pimples, but yet it's a smooth head, don't worry about it. Just sit there and pick them. Candy says it's called Smooth Finish. Smooth Finish. Duena says thank you. And Gail says you sh you could paint white full eyelashes to make it look like a web. Ooh, that's a good idea. Denise says Smooth Finish Foam Coating. That's what it is. Smooth Finish Foam Coating. Okay, I'm going to get at least a base. Now, for the web thing, I would have to have more time to kind of think that, think that one out, but that's a super good idea. Really good idea. 
So don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and share. That would be super awesome. I'd appreciate it. Um, and again, for anybody interested in my other um, pumpkin heads, they're not wicked like this. They're just kind of cool. If you go look on my page you'll, on the pictures, you'll see it. Um, I am taking orders. I have two right now. I got to finish. What's the red one? Doing? The red one. I decided to do a devilly looking one. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, what did I do with? Okay. Um, I'm gonna start out with some yellow, just so I. I am so sorry if I missed anybody's comments again. I'm gonna go back and read everything. Thank you, and comment. So but even before you were reading them, I missed so many because I was like, I got totally distracted with the phone call and everything. Yeah, there are a couple before. Oh, God, I have to go back and see how she said you pronounce it. It was Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Very pretty name. She said, thank you. Beautiful name. Sis, how about you? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, she said, I love your painting. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I do have a couple of extra heads, too, available um, on my website. I don't remember. Just a couple of them are available right now. So check them out. They look great in wreaths, ladies. I love putting them in, you know, doing the florals. However, my most favorite wreath I did. Hi, Rose. Thank you, Wilhelmina. Did I tell her thank you already? I don't remember I told her thank you. Um, my most favorite yeah. wreath I did, and I also did the head, was the Mad Hatter. you got to check that out. That is really an awesome head. That one I'm really proud of. I love it. Okay, so I just used some um, canary yellow because I kind of want it to stand out. I don't want to, I'm just kind of playing around here because I, I didn't take the time to really think of a color. So I'm going to do a splash of Pier Dot, which is actually my birthstone, Pier Dot. Mm -hmm. It's an ugly green for a birthstone, but <laughs> for an eye, I think it would look cool. I'm just going to add, and no, it's not going to work. This is a, it's is an extra high sheen. That might be why. Denise says she love, love, love the Mad Hatter. Yes, the Mad Hatter. He just everything about him turned out so awesome. Candy's favorite was the the Witch Sisters. Oh shoot, I forgot about them, Candy. Yes, and the Witch Sisters I saved for myself. I I ended up keeping those. Those were really fun to make. Okay, so that's not going to work. It's too high sheen. Let's put a touch of chocolate in there. My birthstone is ruby. Huh? So my birthstones are ruby. Ooh. Rubies are beautiful. I think Ryan's is an amethyst. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of blend this in and get an idea of what I'm looking at here. I do want the iris to stand out and to be lighter than anything else because I want that creepy look. Sheila says she's looking through your page and she's so in love. Yay, Trudy. Thank you for popping in. Looking through your page. I'm so in love. Oh, yay, Sheila. Thank you. Thank you. I tell you, there's a lot of different ideas. Uh, when you look at my heads, you just think about the holidays or occasions or just maybe something you like. Um, for example, I did, I had a custom order. I don't know if any of you saw, or a lot of you I'm sure saw. Um, it was for, I think it's called a Morph, Morph or Morphe Butterfly. A lady wanted to order a custom head for her mother because her mother's favorite butterfly was that. And, um, Kathy says, can you make a bee, bee lady? A bee lady? I can do a bee. I, it depends, like, kind of, like, what kind. Are you talking more, like, cartoon character kind? Because if you look on my page, I do have, I do do, also do flatheads. 
the flatheads, there's a lot of cute little cartoon characters. And I have, um, I did some bees. So also, you know, if you're interested in the head and you have an idea of what you would like, you're more than welcome to message me and show me the idea you have. I will tell you, I cannot copy from another uh, creator's head, um, but I can, you know, get the idea if there's another creator's head you like, um, but I can't copy. Or if you just have pictures of a style you like, you know, I can do my best to try to make it for you. And right now, you know, I'm, I have a one, two, three, four orders all together. Two I got to get done here in a day or two. And then uh, I have Jess who I'm going to be doing. I'm super excited about this. I'm going to be doing a witch head for Jess. And she actually has a witch body that she's going to have me paint. And it's, oh, it's going to be a sexy witch. Oh, my God. I can't wait to do it. Sheila's going to message you about something she would like you to, if you can, to see if you, or I'm going to message you about something I would like if you can do. Awesome. Yeah. Just, you know, send me any kind of pictures or as much information as to what you're really looking for. So that, that helps me um, make it to the best of what you would like. And Kathy says thank you. You're welcome. It's just there is a waiting list. Um, okay. Mom's watching. Janelle. Hi, love. Okay, so that's the look. I don't know. I think it's pretty groovy. What do you guys think? Kind of yellowish, you know. I'm going to put some highlight in there. I love how it's turning out. Thank you. Pretty groovy. So, plus I got to go back at these comments and write down too for anybody that didn't message me that is interested in the head, so I don't forget. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little highlighting here. Kathy and Trudy said they love it. Yay! Thank you. I want a little darker. Did I tell you the brown I used was dark chocolate? The yellow I used, oh goodness. whoa, was canary. This is all deco art. Also, the flesh, uh, flesh, the skin tone part is rosy beige. The dark orange is camdom orange. Jamie says she also loves it. Thank you. Um, who bought it? Was it Betty? Betty. Betty bought it. Betty, I don't know if you saw Oh my god, it's Leslie. I haven't talked to Leslie in forever. How are you doing? Bruce says, hey, beautiful, I'm late, this. but here. Yeah, um, Betty, just so you know, I, I don't believe I have enough candom orange, cad cadmium orange to finish the back. Um, will you be putting this in a wreath or doing florals? Because if you are, I'm not going to worry about the back. Jessica says she's so excited. I'm loving this one, too. It's pretty groovy, huh? It's Is it groovy. Bruce or Leslie? Leslie. Okay. Um, and as I said, this one is time consuming, so I can't put you a... Uh, I think I, I have Laura on the list for this one or a different one. For that head? I think so. I don't know. I have to look. I'm I sorry. think it was Laura. Um, Leslie says, hey, honey, real sick. Oh, oh she's really sick? I am sorry. I hope you get better soon. You need to take care of yourself. I'm definitely going to be checking out your shop. Yes, please do, Wilhelmina. Oh, Leslie, I'm so sorry. I'm praying for you. Yes, you're in my prayers, Leslie. Okay. Um, I'm about ready to get these eyelashes on. I'm going to save all my extra touch-ups for offline so I'm not, you guys aren't stuck on here. <laughs> Again, thank you all for sharing. I really appreciate it. Since there, Leslie says, it's my liver getting worse and worse. Oh, no. Are the comments um, 
coordinated to like the delay or yes i believe so okay jamie says put me on the list for that one for a regular pumpkin head this one um as i was telling laura um this one i cannot be start working on this one for probably three to four weeks um only because it's super time consuming um, if you don't mind waiting that long, um, you know, I'll have, I'll put you on a list, but I got some others, you know, I got to get finished and this one took quite a while, Are you gonna but leave I really the like back it. Orange? Um, if Betty, I'm waiting for Betty, if she's still on, it's as long as she's putting it in a wreath or doing florals, I'm not worried about this because this won't even show. Uh -oh. This is bright orange and this is cadmium with a, with some yellow and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit, I don't want this so white, it shouldn't be so white. Jamie says that is fine. Uh, no, they're just having conversations with each other. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the white looks better. <laughs> Candy says, Leslie, tell your doctors we demand they make you better. I know, huh, from Leslie. Leslie says, gal, I love the creepiness. Yep, that's me. I'm going to be doing some more creepy ones. My son keeps telling you got to do some creepy stuff. Your name's Creepy Holiday Stuff. Everyone's pray praying for Leslie. Yes, Leslie's very sweet. like either the eyelashes are going to make it or break it. And you just never know until you get them on there. <laughs> I have a general idea of how it'll look. But. So I'm going to can see good. I'm not going out of frame, right? Okay. Okay, so <coughs> have some eyelashes here that my sweet friend Candy sent me. But I think I'm going to double these because I want a really voluminous, thick look for this head. Because I want the eyes to stand out. So Candy says Leslie will pray hard get you there. Myo Clinic is amazing. I think it's Myo, not me. Is that how you say it? Mayo. I think it's Mayo Clinic. Mayo? Mayo. Yeah. Leslie says, Gallon, I'm in love with this. Isn't it awesome? It's perfect for Halloween. It was purchased already by Betty. I believe Betty. I might have to double check. You're sure it's Betty, right? Yeah. It was Betty, and then Laura said something about yeah, it. Yeah, Laura the... just missed it. I don't think Laura knew for sure if it was for sale. Okay, so there I doubled up these. Look at that, nice and a uh, get an idea. Okay. I use clear gel tacky glue because 
eyelash glue. I used it before, but I don't have trust in it when it comes to shipping. Um, I've only had a handful of problems with the eyelash glue, but a couple of problems is too many, so I use now only tacky glue because it's very, it really keeps them secure. And I like to put it on the head as well for extra attachment. One thing is it does not dry as fast as eyelash glue, so So if anybody is interested in learning how to create these styrofoam heads, I do have a subscription group and it's called Creepy Corner and it's $15 per month. I do pre-recorded tutorials, live tutorials, giveaways, we have polls. Um, any tutorials that I sell on my website are automatically free to the members. You get discounts on my items, 15% off anything. It's a really fun group, so if you're interested, I have a pinned post. Jamie says this is beautiful, and I absolutely love it. Yay, thank you, Jamie. John, love it. Oh, thank you, Leslie. It's uh, my first super creepy of this year. Um, I really do love, though, the other pumpkin heads I did. Um, they turned out really gorgeous. They're not wicked. They're the ones I did like a couple of days ago or I did one. Um, those ones are super cute. Okay, so she's needing some bottom, I think. I think she needs some bottom. Sis, can you go get me the scissors? Keisha. Oh gosh, I thought yeah. she was. Can you get me some scissors, love? Oh, yeah. I think she needs some bottom lashes. Let me just get an idea. I think that without the bottom lashes, she looks a little bald. Okay, let's hear some opinions. What do you all think? Honest opinions, please. Here you go. What do you think, sis? Bottom I really lash? like it. You like the bottom lash or no? Oh, the bottom lash? Um, I think it looks See, pretty. here's bottom and then here's no lash. I like it. Aw, oh, thank you for sprinkling the love. Ingrid, have you ever thought of airbrushing some? You know what, Ingrid? I have wanted to airbrush. I have never done it, but I have wanted to. Absolutely. Jessica loves the bottom. Leslie says gorgeous, creepy. Candy said, love the bottom. Okay, so then. Everybody loves it. <laughs> okay, bottom lashes for sure then. Rose says she likes it as well. Bottom lashes. Okay. says, yes, bottom lashes. Okay. Everyone likes it. Let me just, Gary's not here to tell me to drink. <laughs> Gary is uh, someone needs that always says bottom. drink. Yeah, it needs the bottom. I think it looked kind of bald. Everyone agrees. Oh, okay. Oof. Thirsty. Okay. You gotta watch these lashes because you don't want to put too much tacky glue because your lash will start sliding on you. It's best if you could keep it in this position. What do I do with my glue? Oh, here it is. Okay. So let's put this. I'm not gonna double the bottom though. She might end up looking like a spider if I did that. <laughs> Okay, so I just make sure you get a good amount. And one thing that's nice too, if you're like, oh my God, all the glue kind of smeared. It's okay because you can't even see it when it dries. <gasps> Gary is here. Gary, I was just saying, you're not here to tell me to drink. 
I didn't know you were here. I'm sorry. Again, the head does need touch-ups. Um, my base paint and everything, I need to go through and do all those touch-ups. But I'll do that offline. Betty, and I'm sorry if, if I'm repeating myself. I don't know if you heard me. This particular head is 40. Normally my heads are 35 unless they have tons of rhinestones. Um, this one is 40 because it was more time consuming, so I added a little bit for that. I think I want to slide this over just to meet the end a little better. And then lift it right there. Okay, and then I'll lift her up and show you. And her eye will stand out so much better. That's okay, Gary. Thank you for coming. Um, her, excuse me, her eye will stand out much more better as soon as I put the Duraclair, the gloss varnish on it. And also I need to do a really quick... Um, put another coat down here, the black. is usually part of the touch-ups but I just wanted to get it on here okay. hey you be nice what's wrong with you I took all my dogs to the lake today so they can all go swimming which means they're gonna be pretty late up tomorrow uh, three of them they're up in age so I gotta give them their medicine tonight because their arthritis is gonna be really bad in the morning from playing. They all swim and play fetch and okay. Okay. Da -da. I don't know. I think the black and orange turned out quite well. My daughter's choice for me to do black and orange. I'm gonna touch this up a little bit too. So here she is. Um, I'm just going to do a quick look here because I. Let me go up a little bit. Um, okay. I'll go this far. Okay. Um, try to get me for a gym real quick. I still not. Thank you, Linda. Linda said amazing. Ingrid. Um, yes. You know what, Ingrid? I definitely want to try that. I think it would be fun. I was telling my husband I wanted to get one of those. Heather, I counted wrong. Realized I was five dogs and Ron, not six. Oh, Candy, I honest to God, I thought you were saying six fur babies because of Ron. I thought you were teasing because Ron was out there too. <laughs> uh, Gary said adorable. Thank you, Sheila. Love it. Thank you. Rose, love it. Thank you. <laughs> A spectacular creep show. Yes, sir. I love, love, Jimmy. Yay. Norma is good. Norma is good. Um, I didn't message her to come over today because I'm in my room in a, in a really small area of my room to do this because my grandbabies are in the front of the house. So it's like, oh, I'm going to come back here. So I didn't message Norma to come. Okay, looks like I'm done. Thank you, Jessica. Um, well, I'm done for online. Like I said, I'm going to go through. I'm going to do my touch-ups. I'm going to do a little tweaking down here. I'm not digging this too well. Some mess ups there. Um, and then I'm going to find out from Betty about if she's going to do this in a wreath or what. Because the back is, I don't have enough paint in the cadmium orange to finish the back. Unless she needs it like this, then I'll just order some. But And then I'll put my, um, my Duraclair 
gloss varnish, which I love. And don't forget, um, as I mentioned, this awesome Lazy Susan, I on the very first comment, I posted a link to this. It's actually my affiliate link, so I will get a couple. I think it's a couple of cents, because this is only $5.99. But I tell you what, it is awesome for your crafts. You know, you just pop it on there and put it on your table that you're working on, so you don't have everything on your table. It's super cool. I love it. So I'm sharing that link with you all in case anybody's interested. So, okay. Thank you, everyone. Gary, I will definitely tell Ron you said hi. <laughs> Leslie, I will tell Norma. Thank you. Thank you, Candy. I was just thought I would be a little nice in case Ron sees it. <laughs> thank you, Ingrid. Thank you so much. All right, ladies. Thank you again. Thank you so much for everybody that shared and all the thumbs up. Thank you so much. Don't forget to follow and like. And if you do like YouTube and you're on there, you can find me there too. Creepy holiday stuff. And also on Pinterest and also on Instagram. Good night, everybody. Take care. Talk to you soon.